The train car has become a staple in the 21 and over Big Spring community. Now, right behind me is actually the caboose, which is a newly revamped area that they invite the community to enjoy a smoke-free and relaxing environment. They started their day as an average participant and transformed into a hero. We're gonna party like it's 1999 and we might actually get some of that purple rain, purple rain. Here at the Monahan Sand Hill State Park's 60th birthday, we're learning how to do the addle addle. I gotta holla just to be heard with every word. I drop knowledge. I'm a diamond in the rough. A shiny piece of coal trying to reach my goal. My power of speech unimpeachable. Tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow creeps in this petty pace from day to day. I trust you'll understand my reference because Shakespeare's greatest hits is just one short day away. As Summer Mummers goes into their 70th season, the saying stands true. It can't be explained. It must be experienced. There's been heartbreaking controversy over children being separated from their parents after crossing into the United States. Right here in the border crossing city of Presidio, people tell me they couldn't imagine not being able to go back and forth between the United States and Mexico. The Iron Orchard has been filming throughout the Permian Basin, and filming here at the Petroleum Museum gives it that air of history and authenticity, connecting the film with the community they're representing. Taco Tuesday is going to be the talk around town after the Odessa City Council unanimously approved an agreement to bring Torchy's Tacos to downtown Odessa. The sport that is flying off the pages of Harry Potter is uniting fans and the athletes alike throughout the world, defying stereotypes and gender norms throughout the Quidditch community. So isn't that where the real magic Lies. We're here at the World War II Memorial, and who better to talk about this memorial than with a World War II veteran who goes by the name of Tex. Tex, tell me a little bit about how you're feeling right now. It's nearly 100 degrees, and that's before a firefighter puts on their gear. Then you're adding 10 to 15 more degrees of heat, and that's before battling a blaze. We're here at Ratliff for the CBS 7 Game of the Week as the Bulldogs win 31-28, and you know what that means? They're going to the playoffs! Yeah! You continue to blow us all away with your creativity. Have a safe and happy Halloween. And remember, whether it's Halloween or not, you can always be a hero by exercising your right to vote. And we, oui, we, oui, mon ami, we'll see you in Paris. The U.S. women's national team qualified for the 2019 FIFA Women's World Cup. Both Ratliff Stadium parking lots will have free food and beverages, lawn games, and special giveaways. Plus, don't forget your non-perishable item like peanut butter to benefit the West Texas Food Bank. We're out here on the set of the Iron Orchard. And as we turn back the clocks to the 30s, 40s, and 50s, we're shining a spotlight on the rich history of our community. Sincerely me.